Hey, hi, good morning, Con here. Welcome back to my channel, Ms. Vicissitude, where I talk to teach mum. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a lolly lay for graduations, 21st, or any other kind of celebration you like. Keep watching. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, hello and welcome. I make videos every week related to teacher wellness, productivity, and lifestyle. There are lots of ways that you can create a lolly lay. This is a simple way that we chose because my daughter wanted at least 30 lay. Okay, to get started, make a selection of your favorite chocolates or lollies. That's always a good choice. You could also theme your lolly lay. You can buy chocolates of the same color or the same color wrapping. My daughter did want metallic pink, but we couldn't find those in any of the shops in town. So that was a little bit disappointing. You'll need to get some cellophane, which you can pick up from Big W, Kmart. We got ours from our local news agency or Walmart. Uh, office work something like that it's not very expensive I've got some scissors there and some sticky tape and lastly you will need a selection of curling ribbon here you can see that we are creating long rectangles of the cellophane and we're very fortunate actually I think I'm here on the floor because I needed the space we worked out that we needed at least 25 20 to 25 lollies in each necklace so that they were long enough to go around my daughter's neck and um, not be all bunched up around her chin I've also seen people utilize oven bags for this part of the lolly lay making and I've also seen people use glad wrap. Either system will work, we've just chosen to use cellophane. Once this part of the process has been finished, you'll have a number of long rectangle shapes and these will be used to lay the lollies onto before we start to tie the ribbon around it's always better if you prepare everything prior so here I'm cutting the 25 to 30 pieces of ribbon that will be used to tie each lolly into place after they've been laid out onto the cellophane rectangles and then here we here we are tying them where the chocolate has been placed into the cellophane, turned over and then tied, double knotted. Here we are at the curling stage of the lolly lay and a couple of the completed lolly lays. And here we are with our completed set of lolly lays. We ended up with 25 of these and my daughter was very happy with the end result. You can see some on the right that are a different style of lolly lay. But overall, the lolly lays looked beautiful. They cost around $50 to $60 to buy the different chocolates and lollies to create these lolly lays. But my daughter was so thrilled to have as many as she did for her high school graduation. The idea was to actually put them into bags and to carry them to the graduation ceremony. But with COVID, we weren't allowed to have more than uh, parents attend the ceremony. So it was decided that we would put them into a packing box because we had so many of them around. And these lolly lays filled the entire box. So they would have been too heavy for one person to carry in on the day. But there you have it. If you decide to make a lolly lay, I would love for you to tag me uh, on tag me on Instagram at Ms. 
gratitude and show me a photo if you've got one as well that would be so great to see these are really easy to make and such a beautiful gift for celebrations such as these If you've enjoyed my video on how to create a simple lolly lay, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button, which would really help me. I'm nearly at 100 subscribers and I would love for you to be one of them.